is a beautiful guitar. Six and a half grand. These are four grand, three grand. Do you hear the quack? Does it sound quacky to you? I'd love a horse. Then you're on your way. I'd love a horse. So I'm on my way down to London to do a bit of guitar shopping and there is no better place in the whole of the UK to do guitar shopping than Denmark Street in London. A place that is so rich with guitar and musical history. So much happened down there in like the 60s and 70s. It's a really, really cool place. And today it's full of great guitar shops. There's a new one just opened called Dawson's Local. We're going to go check it out today. They're carrying a few brands that are are generally quite hard to get hold of and get your hands on and try in the UK so I'm really excited about that we've got about another hour left in the car then we are getting on a train and then we're getting on a tube and then we'll be there come along we're gonna go play some guitars and uh, yeah generally hang out and have a good time so we just parked up at the train station it is very bright sunny day but it's still very very cold it's like just hovering around freezing before we get on the train i'm actually going to order something from the shop that we're going to because i've had my eye on this for a while it's more of a convenience thing so i'm going to order one of these little mono power supplies because i've been using my mono pedal board so much that uh I just think this is going to fit better than my True Tone one underneath. So we're going to test out their same day click and collect. I'm going to order it now and then we're going to be there in like an hour or two. So Dawson's local Soho, continue to payment. All right, we ordered. I've just had an email to say that it's uh, it's gone through. So let's go, let's get on the train and uh, oh, <laughs> absolute mess. Okay, so we made it to Dawson's on Denmark Street. We've got Liam and James here. They're gonna show us round, show some cool stuff. I've already seen some stuff that is familiar to me, those heritage guitars. We've got some cool harmonies. We don't often see those sorts of guitars in the UK. Um, I don't know how much you know what the brands, but I mean, Harmony started off as being yeah. student guitars, like catalog guitars in America, you know, through the 50s and 60s, but they've kind of reinvigorated the brand. Look cool, sound good. Yeah. And let's say the heritage cool. stuff, uh, still made in the old Gibson factory in Kalamazoo. Why are you saying they're made in the same factory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Harrison Harmony made in the same factory. That is very cool. Um, as you said, lots of American shops having them, lots yeah. of touring artists using them, but it's kind of now that we're able to have such a big range. And we've got our other room upstairs, which shows even more of the heritage range, like some of the 530s, the 535s. Awesome. Um, and then down there, we've got yeah. some of the usual suspects. Yeah, so we've got our wall of fender. That's cool. What is that the Christy Hines? Yeah, yeah, it's Christy Hines signature model. It's like, it feels like quite a modern guitar shop, like laid out, it's minimalist in the in a good sort of way. I like the wood paneling and stuff, it's, it looks good. Yeah, because, I mean, especially compared to all the other shops in Denmark Street, which are, yeah. I guess, more traditional in their style, yeah. and most of the buildings are the same way that they have been for the last 40 years because of our partnership with Vista Music and brands like Sweely who cover a lot of Southeast Asian music retail. We're taking inspiration from the aesthetics of some of their stores. Yeah. So the minimalist approach works really well because it's, it focuses the mind. Yeah. And you know what is on the wall as soon as you walk in. Are we allowed to have a look upstairs? Yeah. That's yeah, fine. have a look upstairs. All behind the road. I'll go first. Yeah. <laughs> As it, what do you call this space? Um, so we're referring it to it as our, our VIP lounge. Yeah. Um, the, the idea was that as soon as you walk up the stairs, 
it lo looks and feels like a really nice living room yeah. that also happens to have lots of really nice guitars on the walls. Yeah, I wish my living room looked like this. <laughs> yeah. As I said, I've definitely seen some stuff that I want to try. Um, maybe we'll just have a quick walk around and we'll point out some things that I think are really cool and then I'll, maybe I'll grab you in like five, ten minutes and we'll uh, yeah. plug some stuff in, if that's alright with you guys. Yeah, go with that. Sick. This might be kind of familiar to you guys from, from my heritage, but these are, these are custom shop models, so I mean, that's a beautiful guitar. A bit lighter than mine at home. Oh, that's a beautiful guitar. That is a beautiful guitar. The checking on here, like it almost looks like a flame top, even though it's super flamed underneath, the flame look actually looks like it's going that way, but the checking is going that way. I mean, that's so nice. It's it really lightweight, it almost feels like a smaller guitar than it actually is. This amazing room's looking out on Denmark Street, probably the most famous music street in the whole of the country. Maybe the whole world? I don't know, probably not. There's probably some cool stuff in America, but you know, as, as far as the UK goes, this place has got a lot of history and heritage when it comes to music. Top of the range of what Martin can do. You know, these are like six, I thought that one's six and a half grand. These are four grand, three grand. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> okay, cool. Have you seen anything that you like? No, I like the sofa. You like the sofa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nice sofa. All good. Some cool stuff, isn't there? Am I right to just reach yeah, 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 it? Yeah. Is it light? Oh, really cool these are. Two red harmonies to start with. So we go. So we got the harmony silhouette here. Uh, just that it's got a model name, like anything more than that. Just big speed, no, silhouette, big speed. Silhouette with big speed. Yeah. yeah, so we've got like a ashtray, three, three saddle bridge, a couple of gold foils. Cupcake knobs, I mean, they're just awesome. So many tones in one guitar, that's really nice. Really inspiring to play. First harmony I've played as well, isn't it? Yeah. And this is good. Similar sort of specs on this? Seems to scale length. The silhouette is in a Mulder body. Yeah. Whereas the Jupiter is mahogany. So like the, the shape of the body is the same as what the original Harmony Jupiter would have been. <laughs> like the other one but I think this one feels a little swampier but it still has the clarity like string definition like big chords ring out I don't know it feels a little groovier than that one whereas that one's spank and you know snappiness this one seems a bit softer and I think that probably plays to my playing style a bit more both awesome though really cool I'm impressed so fully hollow P90s H530 I played a guitar very similar to this years ago and it's one of those guitars that has just been haunting me ever since it's just like the perfect guitar just have in your living room next to the sofa isn't it just
this is special. P90s are just some of the most expressive pickups. Such a range of tones between the bridge and the neck pickups, but also just depending on where you pick, like close to the bridge, it, the, these pickups pick that up, turn down the tone just a touch, and it completely changes the tone of the guitar. Lawler's in that. Simmered on the 59s and the yes. yeah. But then if you move to the Heritage uh, Custom Core, the cut core collection, you're gonna get Heritage wand pickups. So mm. this will have Heritage wand yeah. PAF style pickups. Yeah. All right, and then we gotta play it. We gotta play it. That's beautiful though. That's a special guitar. Mm. Custom, custom core, custom, that's what they call it. A custom core H535 from Heritage. And just from that, it feels like an old guitar in like a really good way. The sound it produces, the way it feels, it feels played in, it feels soft around the edges, even though this one isn't relict, it still feels old. It feels like you've found it under someone's bed for 70 years or something. Even goes that too like an old guitar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got two nearly identical H150s here. One is custom shop, custom core, and one is from the standard range. I, I have an inkling which one's which, but I don't actually know. So let's have a play of both and see if I can guess. Which one should we play first? I know they've got stickers on, I'm trying not to read the stickers. The one in your left hand, play that one first. Play this one first. change, I'll swap to the other one. This one feels rounder. <laughs> I don't know, it feels like it's got more of a carve on the top. Maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. I think just from the feel, this this is the standard. And then that one I just played is the custom. I think this translates from what we were talking earlier about the semi-hollows, is that this one just feels a bit more polished, as in like high gloss, whereas the custom has that sort of worn in, played in feel, even though it's not relic. <laughs> one has more of a quack than the other one. More of like there's something in the midst that is just more quack quack than that one. Do you hear the quack? Does it sound quacky to you? It does. I do think that this is the standard, and then this one is the custom. I'll just play this one again. Much less of a quack. You, less quack. A bit more of a refined sound, maybe. More of an even sound across the frequency range, you could say. Whereas that one is middly, quacky, rude. This one has a clearer sound. I play either. Is this one the custom? Yeah. Yeah. Other than, you know, the sound is definitely different. This, the standard is a touch heavier. This one feels worn in. That one feels more highly polished, like buffed, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so that, the Nitro on the custom core is their vintage style, but it's 
had a chance to mellow it yeah. a bit. Yeah, um, I think that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Well. Mellowed out a bit. There, I think there is a slightly different carve on the top. So you, that's, you yeah, are, this is uh, much flatter. Uh, yeah. And is that a vintage correct thing or do you think? Heritage has been making guitar since the 80s. There's been a few variations in the H150 in that time. So they've kind of, yeah, re redesigned it for this model. Very cool. How much is this one? That one is cheaper than the 535. Okay. It's just under four. Just under four, okay. Okay. This is a dream guitar for me. I love a gold top. I really want a gold top. And this is a Relics gold top as well. I mean, can you see that in the light? Mm-hmm. That's stunning. Really nice. So about that wedding, Georgia, are we... Uh, is it up? Right? Yeah, it's thing. Can we just put it off so I can get one of these? You could get several of these. Several, yeah, you're right, actually. <laughs> my favorite yet this one's my favorite yet I, it's there's something so we, we said with those two one had the quack one had the dynamics and the clarity this one for me is sitting somewhere between the two still has all the dynamics and the string definition but there is a bit more character in the the mid-range i think and the sustain on this is insane yeah this is this is a nice nice guitar <laughs> I really like heritage guitars. I really like heritage guitars. I know it's it's great to see so many in one place, which, as I keep saying, is not what we get in this country. You know, we're going to play this. It's the last one. I wanted to try an H150 with uh, P90s in. Going to ask you these Lollers or Seymour Duncan's? Uh, Seymour Duncan's. Yeah. yeah. today or bad anything oh it's, it's one of those days one of those days right let's let's move on from heritage we're gonna play some acoustics let's take the mood down a little bit um james was telling us about these big martins here they're all from like reclaimed wood that's you know over a hundred years old did he say that these came off like ships and like they, they called something like anyway insert insert clip, clip from earlier wood that is about three or four hundred years old. It was sourced from the same area of Belize that a lot of the golden era Martins of the early mm. early 1900s sourced their mahogany from. But sinker mahogany because they would have been transporting the wood up rivers whenever they were making huge ships back then, and some of the wood falls off the boat into the water, sinks, hence sinker mahogany. Oh so essentially, it's reclaimed wood, but it's several hundred years old, and it's the closest you can get to a pre-war modern but brand new I, was, I don't know, I was expecting it to be louder. 
it's not, it's quite a quiet sounding acoustic, but it's, it's the sound that it does produce is so sweet. I don't mean sweet as in like rad. I mean sweet as in pure. Whenever I play it like a really nice acoustic, it just makes me want to like play mine at home more. I've got, you know, a, a couple, one or two really nice acoustics and it's just, I don't play them enough. There's something, you know, back to basics about acoustics and good acoustics that is just, maybe we don't talk about it enough. Yeah, really nice, really nice. James was saying this is probably the guitar he would buy. This is a D35 Custom Shop North Street Edition. So look at that. Beautiful binding around the sides, but look at the back as well. Book matched on those two sides and then a piece down the middle. Beautiful. A sign of a really good acoustic as well is you can play it super softly, but it still rings. You know, it rings and sustains, even though we're playing it really quietly. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. This might be the most expensive guitar in the shop, shall we? play it while nobody's around. Yeah. For starters, the colour difference on that. This has got ageing to it, nice checking. So it's a D18, 1939, aged. Do you want to see the price? This is like my perfect acoustic. It's kind of got that, it's not super modern sounding. You know, a lot of modern acoustics these days are kind of scoopy, a lot of bass, a lot of treble. Whereas this is kind of the opposite of that. A lot more characterful in the mid range, which is what I like. I don't know, it really feels like you could write some songs on this and I get it, I don't know, a bit of a troubadours guitar, I guess you'd say. Yeah, stunning. Just need some cowboy boots with it. Just as need well. some cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. And maybe a horse, and then you're on your maybe way. Maybe a horse. I'd love a horse. Then you're on your way. I'd love a horse. It's been amazing. What a day. Let's go downstairs. Let's say hi to the guys and let's pick up a couple of tellies. Should we do telecasters, George? Yep. Yep. Uh, we don't have space to do it, so I want to try out a couple of these. This Chrissy Hand and the Brett Paisley. A couple of. I believe Mexican Telecasters, both signature models. Kind of similar vibes, but still unique and different in their own way. Let's try the Chrissy Hind first. So we've kind of got this. It is ever so slightly relict. There's definitely some marking on the mirrored pit guard. <laughs> really good it's, it's like a it's like just a great telecaster you know the specs on this aren't too wild you know for a signature model i guess the biggest upgrade here are those six saddles six vintage style saddles which i actually really like that kind of just makes sense i know a lot of people who really like these guitars who've had them or own them and really really like them this is so light as well the the uh, I'm sure the Chrissy Hind is like a reasonable weight for a Telecaster, but compared to this, this is like nothing.
interesting. There's, there's things about both that I like. I think I prefer the sound of the Chrissy Hind, and I prefer the neck feel of the Chrissy Hind, but this is a nicer weight. Let's do one more guitar. Let's do one more guitar, and I've already seen which one I want to play. It's downstairs. All right, I brought two more. James persuaded me on another one as well, so we're going to try this. PRS SEGGT, and James is carrying a Manson Matt Bellamy. You've met Matt Bellamy, haven't uh -huh. you? I have, yeah, by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a wild guitar. So this cat got a Sustainiac pickup in the neck, which I don't really know, is it like an Ebo built in sort of it, thing? It does the similar sort of a job. Okay. Um, and then at the base, there's a switch, an on off switch for a fuzz factory circuit. Yeah. So this guitar has a fuzz factory built in. <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. I mean, it looks, it looks awesome. It looks as good as the core models. This might be the biggest surprise of the day. That sounds great. It kind of has some of the things to talk about earlier that you pick up a guitar and it feels played in already. Kind of has a bit of that vibe about it. This is definitely up there for me from today. I think we've probably played enough guitars today. Maybe. Is there, is there ever enough? No. Oh, it's been an absolute joy though, hasn't it? I was saying earlier, this is, as a collection of guitars, some of the nicest I've ever played, like, They've all been pretty much just ready to go and all feeling good straight out. You know, just need a bit of a tune and they, they feel good, they feel really good. There's one thing that I forgot. There's one thing that I forgot. I ordered something, didn't I? I ordered something before we got here. So let's pick that up. It's ready. I had an email hours ago saying it's ready to pick up. At least we're not leaving completely empty handed. <laughs> cool. cool. So you ordered a large model power supply. I did, yes. Cool. Oh, well, that's you there. Lovely. Very cool. All right, thank you guys. It's all right. What a day. We played some excellent guitars. I'm going to have dreams about that gold top uh, heritage. The harmonies are also awesome. We played some really good acoustics as well. Some of the best acoustics I've ever played. And that DGT is a bit of a surprise. That's a nice guitar. Really good guitar. Mm -hmm.